Hey, what's up, Hollywood? Chelsea Briggs here, hanging out at South by Southwest with a very talented band, Versa Emerge. How's it going, guys? It is going just fantastic. Ooh, with a swerve, my eyes avert, my mouth somehow forgets to work. So I stare until you shout, wondering why you can't figure me out. Start from the beginning with you guys and kind of tell me how Versi Emerge began. Actually, when the band first started, we had a male vocalist. Uh, so Sierra joined the band about a year into it already. Wait, and I heard that you lied about your age in order to get in the band. Do you have I to tell definitely me? did. <laughs> um, I, I like her. I like her. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes you, you gotta pull what you can to get what you want. I was 16 and um, they wanted somebody who was older uh -huh. because they lost their vocalist because he was too young. Okay. So I was like, yeah, I'm 17, my birthday's in a week. And they're like, oh, so you're turning 18. I was like, sure. Yes. If you could explain your, your sound in your own words, how would you describe it? Um, intergalactic invasions. <laughs> what? Rock. 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 There you go. It just hit four years that so we've That's been awesome. together. And we've been touring, and in that amount of time, we've uh, released our self titled EP, which we put out our. Or no, we released Perceptions. We put out ourselves, and then we got signed and released another EP and our record, Fixed at Zero. So, a lot of accomplishments. Because it seems to me that nothing's what it's ever meant to be. So, you guys are used to touring and all that stuff. I'm curious, what's the key to keeping up the momentum? Um, lots of sleep. Yes. Because when you wake so up. Do you get sleep, though? That's my question. Because yeah. <laughs> you have to get as much sleep as possible because when you wake up, it's still going. Yes. Who would you guys say are your biggest musical influences in the industry? Um, for me, it's always a no brainer. It's Bjork. Oh, it's a good one. And, uh, um, Bjork and Muse. Okay. Um, definitely, I don't think we'd be the band that we are today without them. And Sierra, you're the only girl in the band. So True. tell me, <laughs> tell me, how is this? I never, I guess connected with girls uh -huh. as much. So it's really nice. I have my best friends are dudes. They're my brothers and it's very drama free and it's very open. We can talk about anything. And um, life on the road is very different. So it, it's nice to um, have a bunch of down to earth dudes. Do you guys have a favorite place you like to tour? Like favorite state, favorite country at this point? My favorite place is California. Yay, California. I love California. Yeah. California? California, how about you? Love California. Uh, just the Pacific Northwest and uh, Canada, actually. Montreal and Toronto are awesome. What is it that you hope that your fans, listeners, will take away from the music? Your music? I hope that they take away that they're not alone and they're not the only ones who feel like they're lost in the world and don't know what they want to be or what they're after or you know where they should go with their lives. Because um, it's easy to discover. You just have to kind of block out the distractions. Absolutely. And I hope it inspires, you know, everyone to, to realize their potential. Or who would be your dream collaboration? If you could choose. I'm gonna have to say Bjork. We really like Bjork. Love him. How about where do you guys see yourself in five years? So I hopefully see us, you know, still making music. If not, you know, doing something we love. We both love to write. We love to write for people. Uh, Blake loves to score, you know, scoring. Yeah, I would love to compose soundtracks for movies one day. So. Cool. And I'd like to be in those movies. Oh, there you go. What, what would you guys say is the biggest lesson you've learned thus far in the music industry? Because I know it's a tough industry and it really is. It can rip you to pieces. Um, I've learned that you need to find yourself quickly. You know, don't let everybody pull you around. Yeah. Say what you want and uh, make sure it's what you want. And don't be afraid to speak up. If you speak up, you never know. All right, all right. Same thing. And uh, like music because you like it, not because it makes you cool.